Today we handed over the uh, corporate seal, the Belize coat of arm, which is also called the national seal, or the corporate signature of Belize. It's a very important object, it's a very important symbol for any country. And every country is protected jealously, it is made jealously. You make sure it does not only have to be artistic, it also has to be technically correct. And so we're handing it over today to the National Assembly. It's a very important day for me personally, because this is like something I've been working on for the past 14 years, trying to present it, trying to make sure it's in, trying to make sure the government uh, sees the significance of this, the importance of this, and why it should be done properly and not haphazardly. It is that the first time I went to the U.S. Embassy in Belize, in Belize City, and I saw the two coat of arms, the U.S. coat of arm and the Belize coat of arm side by side. And the U.S. coat of arm is standard. Anywhere you go in the world and say it, it's not just any artist that does it. It is done standard. And then I see the Belize coat of arm there, very haphazard, very embarrassing. So I thought to myself, I'm an artist, I have the skill, and I will use it for the good of Belize. That is when I began to make the Belize coat of arm and began to create the awareness and education of the significance and the importance of the coat of arm and why it should not just be printed, be minted, be carved, be sculptured, anyhow. It is the Belize coat of arm. It's like your signature. You can sign any kind of signature anytime and it's okay. It's not okay. So the Belize coat of arm has such significance. I don't know how to emphasize it any more than this. But when I saw the Belize coat of arm side by side with the U.S. coat of arm, I thought immediately, uh, almost 20 years ago, that I have to do something about it. And so I did.